a short legend story in Kato Praangan. Praangan originated from Cambodia and was named as a mountain deity. Of all the Thai deities, Praangan is easy to relate to and closest to understanding the human heart. Praangan is easily recognized with his pointed hat, which can be straight or bent, and sometimes, his protruding red eyeballs. He can also be depicted as bald with a rounded head, almost like a Buddha, in which case he is known as Pra Chai, who inhabits a higher spiritual realm than Praangan. Many forms of Praangan have many names, Forangan, Forngat, and Forper, and with ease, a similar witch he uses some of his old names for amulets and bucha that similar house entities. Praangan is considered a type of demon, some with bulging red eyes that suggest that he can see more than this realm and adapt to his followers' future. Praangan tends to attract people from the edges of society as he is easygoing, likes drinking, enjoys sex, and brings good fortune to your life. Praangan is an animus nature deity that is said to reside on a mountain. Some think he is a real creature, and others believe that many Praangan has slightly different characters and attributes. She is the bounty, and the energy of creation itself, while Praangan is the seed. His actual age can be related to the fact that he has a wife or partner, represented as a female with her legs open, happily displaying her vagina. Both deities appreciate alcohol as an offering, and both accept devotees of any gender, race, or belief. They will bring changes through life experience and the intelligence their devotees possess. If you use Praangan to attract wealth and sexual partners while being an adulterer or lying to and cheating people, Pranang will encourage that person to go further down that path. He is said to often go missing in the home, only to find it in a lady's knicker drawer, and offering the worn knickers to him will encourage wild sexuality. From that, if the devotee expects benefits without making merit to balance the gifts, there can be results through some misfortune. The worship of Praangan calls for an attentive understanding of life and how it works, with nothing considered as being free and the devotee having full responsibility for themselves. It is like a karmic loan shark, which is why it is crucial to make merit if a person becomes a follower to keep the balance. Praangan, besides the sex and dance reputation of this deity, is also said to help find your soulmate. This aspect is cherished the most by the followers of Praangan because he cultivates growth in the individual, an awareness of the nature of life. For every advantage Praangan bestows, the devotee must balance that by dedicating acquired merit to Praangan in charity, kindness to others, or making merit at a temple. This path is the righteous way of personal growth, and with that, wisdom can be attained, along with a bestowed from worshipping Praangan with offerings and kata chanted. To increase gambling and wealth luck, improve relationships, and grant an assured calmness to his devotees. The offering is fresh water daily, fruit, especially coconuts and bananas, incense, flowers, whiskey or beer, raw eggs and chicken, or other cuts of meat, and occasionally a cigarette, so he can relax and enjoy the drink and smoke. In Thai magic, anything to do with menstrual blood is usually associated with occultism, which affects the higher magical items, removing all their power. These days, most Praangan do not need menstrual blood but enjoy alcohol cigarettes, and some raw meat, and he is mainly for Sania, Chak Lop, and Meta. The blessing or making of a Praangan statue sometimes includes placing the Praangan on a woman's breasts or private parts to strengthen this ancient form of sex magic. There are also some wilder stories than that, but it is best not to share such things as it tempts people to be extreme. There are many old stories about Praangan, but who knows which is correct? No one knows. Praangan is for charming and for sex. He likes dirty places, loves used underwear, and adores the period blood of women. Praangan is a low deity but is often represented as the little Buddha, even though he is not enlightened. So people changed the top to have a bend in the hat and sometimes added large red or copper eyes to give him a more definite identity. The worship of Praangan is ancient, and it is impossible to say if he comes from Cambodia as the Lana region also has Praangan. He is often put with Maper because life has yin and yang. Praangan is the male, and Maper is the female, and together they have the power of the couple combined. They represent the balance in life, the male and female balance that creates life itself. Many makers make Praangan. 
it is best to choose just one. Making offerings generally begins with lighting a single stick of incense, placing it among the food, and reciting spells. General use spells, as well as some spells specific to each creator, are recited. An example of these kata is described as follows. It is used to increase the powers of your praing on. The kata for praing on varies wildly and depends on the maker, but these are considered interchangeable. First, finish reciting three times with namotasa. Then the following incantations. The first spell is the heart spell of praing on. The second spell is the spell for seeking assistance. The third spell is for sane and lust. The fourth spell is for paying respects to praing on. The fifth stanza is the spell for issuing a vow. Inform your praing on of your wishes after reciting this. Make sure to deliver on whatever you have vowed. Before reciting any specified spell, you should repeat the mantra of Namo Tasa three times, then repeat reciting the specified spell three times. Now let us chant the preliminary prayer. Before chanting to any Thai Buddhist statue or amulet, first chant three times of this initial mantra. Namo Tasa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddharsa. Namo Tasa Pakawato Arahato Samma Sambuddharsa. Namo Tasa Pakawato Arahato Samma Sambuddharsa. Namo Tasa Pakawato Arahato Samma Sambuddharsa. The first spell, the heart spell of praying on. Uha pa ma a. This spell may be used daily on all forms of praying on. This spell builds rapport and trust between you and your praying on and enhances its power. The second spell, the spell for seeking assistance. Om kamma pon kamma peng meta su ne po ngang oi. เจ้าจงมาสู่หาจงเกยทรัพย์เอาสีมาให้กูมะนิมะนังมะหางั่งตันติมานิมามะมามาสวาหะ The 3rd spell spell for sana and lust โอมนั่งตังปะขนังกามะตันหาโยนีถังอาคัตสาหิ Indicate your wish, after finishing the spell. The fourth spell, the spell for paying respects to praying on. Namo tassa pakawato arahato samma samputassa. Namo tassa pakawato arahato samma samputassa. Namo tassa pakawato arahato samma samputassa. Om Niyom Maha Niyom Niyom Tiang Gramom Niyom Tiang Gramom Niyom Tiang Gameng Lu Lu Saleng Sot Sang Sat Nau A Lai A Lot Ma Nuk Tiang Pa Rampuan Gon Gameng Tu Jatu Jaruat Do Jagomen Ma Nuk Tiang Pa Rampuan Mo Jum Ai Na Kru Hoi Om Sit Thi Sawa Haya The fifth spell is the spell for issuing a vow. Ma Ni Ma Nang Ma Ha Ngang Tan Ti Chit Tang Pu Ti Ma Ni Ma 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 Inform your pra nong of your wishes. After reciting this, make sure to deliver on whatever you have vowed. It is a bit of good advice for the devotee who wishes to use the black magic amulet or statue should have the guidance of a proper master with prayer instructions with offerings and kata to be used. <laughs>